everyone. So the time has come. I took out my braids only after two weeks, my cornrow tree braids, because like I predicted, that hair piece was becoming so matted and tangled, my hair started to look like a mop. So I said, you know what? I know it's only been two weeks, but it's time to take it out. So I did. And I mean, it's terrible. I have it, some of it right here. You won't be able to, you know, it's just bad really bad and I think I mentioned before I bought it because it's it looked nice they had called it they didn't call it specifically human hair but they said it was like human hair or something like that the name of it is realistic and I'll see if I still have the the package you can see but avoid it. It's useless. And it's expensive. But fake hair is expensive. So as you all know, this is what I use to relax my hair. The fight is specific. I use index 2. And I do text lags. I tried index 1 the other time and it was horrible. It it didn't do much for my hair, but it dried it out. I, I don't know how that worked. It dried it out. And I left it in for twice the amount of time that I usually leave this one in. I leave this one in from application to washing out 15 minutes. That one I left it in for about 25 minutes, almost twice the time. Didn't do anything. My neck, my virgin hair, felt the same. It was a little bit softer, but you know, it was a little bit softer when it was wet. But once I washed, you know, once it dried, it was back to the same as it was before and just drier. So I am not going to show you the entire process. I'm not going to show you the entire relaxing process. I will try to remember to link a video down below of whose method I copied. Okay, so you can see. And basically, I've already put Vaseline on my scalp and I'll show you on my scalp and the edges. And I basically use the same braid pattern that I had when I took out the cornrow tree braids is the same exact braid pattern. I just use those lines and put in the Vaseline on my scalp, petroleum jelly. And then I sectioned it in the, the way that I want to apply the relaxer. And then I put the petroleum jelly in those lines as well. So I've double greased my scalp because as you all know, this is a dangerous chemical and you do not want it seeping into the pores of your scalp not good. I'm about to put um, something protective on the ends that already relaxed. The last time I tried the same petroleum jelly there, it would not wash out. So I won't do that this time. I'm going to go back to using the protein treatment on the relaxed ends while I put the, you know, before I put the relaxer in to protect the ends and also to strengthen them some more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find, I have a couple of them. I'm just going to find one of them and put it on the ends. But again, I'm not going to show you the process. I am going to show you what is in this box. And then I'll go relax my hair and I'll be back. They do have a milky reconstructor. I never use it because the re every review that I've seen said this isn't very good. It doesn't work very well for their hair. So I don't see why I should try it. You know, I have my own reconstructor, like I said, so if I use it, I might just use it to, to protect the ends while I apply the relaxer. And there is the shampoo. Now that my hair is longer, I am not sure that this neutralizing shampoo will be enough, but I do have my Mizani neutralizing shampoo. And in case this one isn't enough, you always want to have a backup. And here is the 
they call it the inductor. This is what you mix with a relaxer. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm also going to add a little bit of um, olive oil. I've never tried that, but I see a lot of people who, you, who to relax their hair use olive oil. So I'm gonna try that. And this is where the glove came in. So I am going to go get my gloves. Okay. I just opened this and it was loose like that already, which makes me a little nervous. I just did this and it came off. It's supposed to be tightly closed and they never seem to put a plastic, you know, sealer over it. So usually what happens is the, the surface of the relaxer gets crusty. And I don't think you can see it, but it gets crusty. And so when you put it in your hair, you get these little flakes, you know, they get broken up, little white flakes in your hair, but eventually it washes out. So this is my hair. I have sectioned it out exactly as I need for the um, relaxer. And because I'm text laxing, I don't make the sections really thin, okay? So I'm gonna have to be really quick with it. From application to finish is 15 minutes. From applying to the point where I start to rinse it out is 15 minutes, which is not very much time. So I can't be talking and doing that at the same time because I don't want all my hair to break off. So I will be back when I am all done and blow dried, okay? See you soon. Don't go anywhere. Bye. America, it is finished. Oh, I completely forgot how long it takes to do a touch up. And it's, I only did it four months ago. <laughs> March is when I, the last time I, um, I relaxed my, my new growth. And I usually don't bother to you know, flat iron when I finish blow drying it. And the only time I blow dry my hair is when I've done um, a new relaxer. So anyway, here it is. It took me so long, I'm so tired. Here's the hair. You see my hair for the first time, America? And that's my hair. I don't know what length you call that. So, hopefully, yeah, I don't know what you call that length. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to go get a t-shirt with the lines in it because I am focusing on my health, the health of my hair. I feel it is drier than I want it to be. It really should not be this dry. And... So I'm going to have to look for other products to use. I used two that I usually um, apply for leave-in. My horrible, horrible, horrible Elastic QP moisturizing, what is it called? Anti-breakage anti oil moisturizer that I hate. And I have another product that I use, Tykel. Let me just go bring it. This, which works wonders for, it works wonders for your hair when it is not relaxed. It detangles your hair so well when your hair is in its virgin state that it's amazing. So it's great for the roots. It's a leave-in, it's a leave-in detangling conditioner. Leave-in conditioner detangler. Okay, fine. I reversed it. But that's what it is. And it is great. I am telling you, this will get you life. It will get your hair life. Okay. So I put that in there. I also put the Elastic QP one. And then I put Extend a Perm Soft and Beautiful Thermal Straightening Lotion. I'm telling you. Because I don't leave my hair out much, I don't have products to help it be nice and flowy. Like, you know when you see people on YouTube, I'm throwing this away. You 
you see people on YouTube and then they're showing you their hair after they blow dry and then they do this and they talk about how it's nice and flowy. Now, mine is not flowy. It's fly away. So I went ahead and I, I don't know what length it is right now, but this is it. So it's fine. It's good. I am enjoying it right now. I still feel it's very dry. I probably will do a very, very deep, intense um, moisturizing treatment in a couple of days to see if that will work. I put very, very little of my go-to Wave Nouveau moisturizing finishing lotion. I put very little of that in there because it has, that has, um, one of the first couple of ingredients is the um, vegetable glycerin and you know that attracts humidity to your hair and I'm not trying to get this hard work reverted in five minutes. No, not today. Okay, so yeah, I like the length. This is two years worth of growth, by the way, guys, from bald. From bald, I, I, I um, cut, I shaved it off in August, August 2013. I'm sorry, no, April 2013. So, this is what I have right now, and I feel that it's significant progress. So, let's see if in two more years, is it going to be double this length? Aha! Uh -huh. That's the challenge. Will it be double this length in two more years? Because this is from zero to that right so well hopefully i'll still be here and hopefully i'll still be talking to you and hopefully we will get to find out okay but as you all know i don't often leave my hair out you always see me in wigs no not wigs i don't do wigs that often either weaves and braids so this might last maybe two weeks and I might get frustrated with it and put braids in. That's usually what happens. But I'm trying to leave it out for a month and treat it very well before I braid it again. You know, because I did have some breakage when I took it out because like I'm saying, it's, it feels dry. The core of the hair strands feel dry. So I am going to do some intense moisturization. But other than that, this is what I have. This is what it is. This is who I am. So, thank you again for watching and have a fabulous, fabulous day. Okay? Catch you later. Bye. Oh, subscribe. Yeah, you. Subscribe. I smile for you. I grin for you. Subscribe. Seriously, though. Can you subscribe and I bring you more videos? Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.